you folks are out there are hopefully listening to us. And uh, it's a nice, cool day. My goodness, I was up in Victorville all morning, and it was a nice, cool breeze. It was overcast, a little rain sprinkle to make it cooler. It was ideal. I mean, I, I would have thought I was going to go up there and, and just bake uh, all day, and it was just as pleasant as can be. So we hope you're out there enjoying that weather today, and we're here to help you you know, educate you a little bit on the real estate business, let you know what's going on out there, who the shysters are and who's trying to cheat people. Big banks. Did we say big banks? I think so, yes. Big banks. Yeah, so we hope that, uh, you know, we're glad that you're joining us today. We've got some great topics here to cover. I know some of you may be watching interest rates and wondering, uh-oh, what's going on? Did I, did, I miss the, did I miss my chance? So we're going to clue you in on that, on what's going on today. We've got lots of good stuff. How are you doing, Randy? How, hey. your, your baseball team is just kicking butt and taking names. You know, Bob, I, 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 wasn't gonna, I really wasn't going to bring it up. Yeah, right. Okay, so I was going to bring it up. So for those folks who, who really, you know, don't maybe hear us every week, I just want to, uh, this is kind of a tail end to, you know, something we were talking about a few weeks ago, is that, you know, there's some organizations out there, real, uh, you know, like Little League Baseball and, you know, Scouts and other kind of civic organization, different things that really bring communities together. And, and I'm involved in one of the communi- uh, organizations up there, Spring Valley Lake Little League. Did I say Spring Valley Lake Little League, Bob? Because I meant to say Spring Valley Lake Little League. <laughs> they is let it, anybody in those in that Little League, I heard. Is it, you know, at the end of the season, you know, they you, you pick all-stars, and so maybe, you know, maybe one out of every ten kids makes the all-star team, and, and then maybe one out of every ten teams wins an all-star bracket, you know. what? I, I don't really know what those ratios are, but it's, it's probably got to be somewhere close to that. So maybe one out of every hundred kids ever wins an all-star tournament. My team that I coach, along with a guy named Charles Hunt. We've been coaching together for quite a few years. Actually, we started off coaching against each other for years. And now we've been coaching together for, I guess, three or four years uh, with fall ball and regular season. So maybe that's six seasons altogether. Uh, Our um, all-star team that we took to the all-star tournament, District 49, we just won the Junior Boys District 49 all-star tournament. So, so where is District Forty Nine? Uh, that'd be uh, the High Desert. So you know we got like feeling up the there, Adelanto, Barstow, Victorville. That's the place the government won't let nobody go. No, you can go there, man. Oh no, that's a uh, Section Fifty Nine or whatever. Well, let me just tell you. So now the next tournament is what's called Section Eight. <laughs> Ooh, Section Eight. That's a housing. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe program. you got to be. Yeah, or crazy or something like that, right? I don't know. So, Everybody gets the so, red house. So now my team's moving on to the next bracket. I'm so excited. Cool. I've never I've never got to do this in, in 27 different seasons that I've coached. I've never been, uh, you know, the, the, the coach or the manager of the All-Star team that actually went. I've helped on a few teams. I've never really been the actual coach or manager of a team that's actually went to All-Stars, yeah. uh, nor have I been a part of a team that's actually won one of the tournaments. And so... Really excited about it. My kids are playing incredible baseball. Um, my my kid, well, not my kid, one of the kids on my team pitched a no-hitter Ooh. on Friday night against a team that until the first game of the tournament, and we played this team on the first game of the tournament and beat them 7-6, to six, I think. They're a great team, uh, Hesperia American. And... Uh, uh, that was their first loss of the season. Wow! And, and an un, what did you say? It was a no no hitter. Well, the first game it was it was a seven to six. Uh, that was their first loss, and then so they won their way all the way back to the to the championship game right. through the loser bracket, right. and then we beat them eleven nothing. My kid threw a no hitter. Not oh, my kid, but one of my kids. Yeah, one of your one yeah. of your one of your kids. I, I call him my kids, but right. you know, and it, it was so exciting. We didn't even realize the the magnitude of it. We were just winning the game, and we were excited about it, and then. An hour or so after the game was over, we started thinking about it, and we thought, you know what, Joe, and on our team we have three Joes, so Joe threw a no-hitter. I mean, it was it was quite incredible, and uh, so we're really excited about it. That's cool. Saturday night we have a game for the starting the next bracket tournament. It's called Section 8. It'll be in Rialto at Bird's... Birdshaw, Birdstall Park or something like that on Linden at 8 o'clock at night. So any listeners out there, you want to you want to go see a good baseball game, uh, we'll be down there playing, uh, representing the uh, District 49. And meet the famous coach, Randy Guff. Well, there's always that, uh, you know, but, but more importantly, there's going to be, you know, a dozen kids from my team that are going to be playing their hearts out trying to uh, move forward. And, and we really have a very small little league. You know, I, I only have 250 players to 300 players at any given season out of my little league and um 
most of these other leagues are 700 to 1,000 kids, which means they have a bigger, bigger base to, to form teams with and so forth. Uh, our team has, you know, 12 or 14 kids that have been playing together all season. Um, uh, most other teams take four or five of the best kids from three or four teams, put them on there. Now they got you know twelve, fifteen really, really strong kids, uh, and and we don't have that luxury. So our kids just been playing together, and I think that's kind of. I think it has a lot to do with the coaching. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. So, Randy so Goth, he's a good coach. It's a community function. I, I like to talk about some of the community functions when we're on here talking about real estate because all those those community Connect. functions really help communities come together right. and and make stronger communities and 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 so forth. So well, a lot of times that's where we find all of the people that are anxious to get into owning a home. They're usually with family. They have family. They're kids. They want to they want to have a house rather than renting some place. They want to own a place. So that's. Right. Kind of what brings it all together, Randy. Good yeah, job. so so it's really exciting. I just wanted to share that with the folks. I want to cool. just give a shout out to uh, what is the Spring Valley Lake Junior Boys White Sox now All Stars. Yeah. Congratulations, young men, and um, good luck Saturday night. Yay. That's awesome.